succeed is a homonym of succeed, and it's used to rebut the notion that we should want the Trump presidency to succeed because if it succeeds, then the country succeeds. The term itself suggests that success from the perspective of Donald Trump would suck, and surrendering policies of our country to our new minority president would be ceding the future of the country to disaster. It's only in the rosiest, perhaps delusional scenario that anything that Donald Trump would consider a success would in fact be this country succeeding. A successful kleptocracy would not be this country succeeding. A successful packing of the Supreme Court with judges who would overturn Roe versus Wade, open the floodgates of money and politics even wider, and bless voter suppression would not be our country succeeding. A successful infrastructure plan at the expense of an exploding national debt would not be our country succeeding. A successful dismantling of Obamacare and Medicare and the privatization of the VA would not be our country succeeding. Successfully demagoguing Muslims to consolidate power, launching a global religious war in the process would not be our country succeeding. Massive tax cuts for the top 1% would not be our country succeeding. Successfully stripping Wall Street of all constraint, threatening the world economy again, would not be our country succeeding. And even if none of these or many other concerns comes to pass, reversing the fight against climate change would not be our country succeeding. It would not be the world succeeding. It would be climate cost. That kind of succeeding could kill us all, literally, and I refuse to embrace it.